How's it going everyone? My name is Lee Genocide and today I'm starting a let's play on the Stanley Parable. And I assume it's like a puzzle adventure game. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. I played the demo and it was really enjoyable and fun, but I, it, it doesn't really tell you what the game is. And look at this. Look at this. You see the, the computer monitor? Monitors, even. You see, you can see the mouse move. That's so cool. That, I don't know. Well, we begin the game. <clears throat> Never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is loading. N n oh well, yeah. It is it loading. Loading. Maybe. This is the story of ah, okay. name, Stanley. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him Not through too a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons mm -hmm. to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what control alt space every day of I don't every know if it does anything. Every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley he's boring. was happy. Quite content. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever so? change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had oh. been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one mm -hmm. single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all oh, his years of the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits hmm. and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, let's see what we got here. Can I press buttons in this? Hello? Crawl under my desk. Can't do it. Can I pick up anything? These pens? Uh, sharpener? Cup? What's that say? Hate Mondays. <laughs> Probably I hate. And look at this. The clock moves. I think that's cool. Um, hello? Margaret? Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones, don't guess he's here. His co-workers were gone. Uh, what could it mean? Stanley decided to I, go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> no matter how much I tried. And oh, why do they have two coffee coffee cups? This one says, "Like." I can't really read it. Like words just hate my boss like I like oh I like work I just hate my boss okay and this one's a smile I think yeah isn't a jump all right can't really interact with anything yet it's a nice picture I like how pretty this game is and how well it looks I'm on 720p and it looks just fine and there's no one here okay what's well, good that's good. Um, I hate Mondays. You know what? Today's Monday as I'm recording this, and probably as it goes up, because I imagine I'll... Set of two open doors, oh. He entered the door on his hmm. left. Okay, I entered the door on my left. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, I know this game has, like, decisions you can make, obviously. And apparently there's like a ton of different endings. Yet there was not a oh my god. Person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Huh. Hold on, where... Uh, is there a... Is there like a... Uh, god, wait, hold on. No, okay, here. Uh, get the fudge... God damn it. <laughs> I, I censored myself and then... Proceeded to curse. That's funny. I'm funny. Uh, everyone is unique. You most of all. Huh. Um, I can't 
throw something in the ideas bin. Um, low, no, 10, no more bins. Trash cans, 20. Renaming of the ideas bin, 30. Fixing of me, ideas bin. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, help. I can't read most of this. I don't know if it's just because it can't be. I want to go in the broom, broom closet. Oh, God. I can't. Oh, my God. I can't. Stanley stepped into the broom oh, my. closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Fuck you. Close the door. Grabbed a broom. Nope. Grabbed, uh, grabbed this. There was nothing here. No nope. choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to stay. Yeah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's in here? I'm going down. Like, I know he said, go, oh, okay, you know what? It's kind of scary. I'm going to go up. Ah, I've done everything he said so far, though. So, forget that. So, forget that. What's this? What is this? Is there a homeless person who lives here? Can I read this? Nope. R. R doesn't do anything. E doesn't do anything. Um, oh. But Stanley here we go. Do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work mm -hmm. hours. He might be fired for that. And in such That's a true. economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think yeah. he was crazy. And then something I'd already, I already think I am. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co yeah. blinking Could mysteriously be. out of existence in a single moment. That doesn't no make sense. At all. None of it oh, were they never there before? Sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began what? to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet huh. when he looked down? Why did doors oh my God. automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms oh, were shit. starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Ghost. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. No. This can't be real. And at last, no. he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't yeah. found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all oh. a dream. Oh, what a but I never said that. Felt to have finally found an answer, yeah. an explanation. Mm -hmm. His co-workers were good actually gone. He wasn't going to lose no. his job. He wasn't crazy after no. all. No. Just I'm just job. asleep at work, and that's perfectly soon. okay. I have to go back to my boring. Oh my life god. Pushing buttons. I may as well <laughs> this while I'm still lucid. So I thought I liked himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, oh no! Put me back. Soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. No. It was oh, so much fun, and Stanley marveled oh. that he had still not woken up. Oh my! How was he God. So lucid? And then perhaps this is the like snow. Question of them all entered Stanley's head. Oh While my he God! Was amazed, he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why I, is what? there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice is describing it. Doesn't everyone have that? By Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Uh, I'm dreaming. Oh, okay. <laughs> describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. Uh, thought. I thought it all very odd <laughs> and wondered if this voice spoke what? to all people in their dreams. The truth was that uh, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Oh no. Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Uh, Stanley I is out awake right now, as he's ever been in his life. Uh, uh, now, uh, the voice I'm seeing it all. It was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, oh God! I knew for certain, I doubt, figured it out. In fact, a dream. I, Did the voice I'm now seeing so clear. I am one with How thought. Would the voice explain all that? This Doesn't voice make a lot of sense, I guess. Too. Surely, <laughs> surely, if he could just, <laughs> he would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. <laughs> That this was a dream. Okay. So he closed All right. His eyes gently, and he invited himself All right. No. To wake no. Up. He felt the cool okay. weight of the blanket on his skin, mm -hmm. the press of the mattress on his back, mm -hmm. the fresh air uh -huh. of a world outside this one. Yeah. Let me wake up. He thought to himself. I'm through. And out loud. 
Wake up. I'm through with this dream. Let me go back mm -hmm. to my job. Let me continue but I hate, pushing the buttons. But I love it. Please. It's all I want. I want it's better than walking in a circle. And my wife. And my job. Mm. All I, I have want a wife. is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything. And normal people fine. have to convince themselves that I they are normal. It's normal. Okay. And that's what you say right before you get hurt. Oh, bloody hell. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. Oh, I no. Real. Everything's getting red. Oh, no. Oh. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Uh, she rose, got dressed, gathered her. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> I was gonna pause it. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted uh. by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed oh, on God. the sidewalk. And although she I wouldn't know who that is. To go call for an ambulance. For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously uh -huh. crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, just she like thought that guy. to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am See? in control of my She's mind. She's talking to I herself. What and that's what they do. And what isn't. I mean, she has this guy narrating things. his voice. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she mm -hmm. remembered the meeting she should. had scheduled for that day. The very important mm. people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, yeah. the rest of her life. She had no also, the world's a little bit clippy so right now. But that's normal. That she stood there, staring down at the body. Mm. And then she turned and ran. Good. Good.